In a war-torn world, Castle Itter became an emblem of hope and defiance. Uncover the thrilling account of how an audacious rescue mission brought together American and German soldiers to protect lives and to stand against tyranny. The Battle of Castle Itter took place on May 5, 1945, during the final days of World War II. In the heart of Austria stood Castle Itter, a picturesque fortress that in 1943 under the orders of Heinrich Himmler became a detention center for high-profile prisoners and French VIPs and was placed under the administration of the Dachau concentration camp. As the war neared its end, American and German forces were engaged in a tense standoff. However, in an unusual twist, a group of French prisoners, including former Prime Ministers Paul Reynaud and Edouard Daladier, the sister of the French President Charles de Gaulle, Marie-Agnès de Gaulle. Generals and famous resistance fighters found themselves locked inside the castle's walls. With the castle surrounded by German troops, the prisoners' fate seemed bleak. But fate had a different plan. In a remarkable turn of events, an unlikely alliance was formed between American soldiers and German Wehrmacht dissidents who opposed Hitler. The German officer in charge of the castle, Major Joseph, Sepp, Gangel, decided to defy his superiors and made contact with the nearby American forces. He requested assistance in protecting the prisoners from imminent doom. Nearby was looming the 17th SS Panzergrenadier Division which was tasked with recapturing Castle Itter and executing the prisoners. Hearing the distress call, a small group of American soldiers, led by Lieutenant John Jack Lee, decided to embark on an audacious rescue mission. Alongside them were a few German soldiers who shared their desire to stop the senseless bloodshed. On May 5, 1945, a group of 14 American soldiers from the 12th Armored Division and around 12 German soldiers, led by Major Gangel, approached Castle Itter. They faced heavy resistance from retreating German troops loyal to the Nazi regime. When Lieutenant Lee arrived at the castle, prisoners greeted the rescuing force warmly but were disappointed at its small size. Shortly after the arrival of the American and German soldiers, a force of 100 to 150 Waffen-SS soldiers led by Oberfuhrer George Bachmann, who had been occupying some hills near the town, decided to launch an attack. In the morning of May 5th, the attack began. A single Sherman tank that was posted at the gate of the castle provided machine gun fire support until it was destroyed by German fire from an 88mm gun. In a dramatic showdown, the joint American-German force, numbering less than 30 soldiers, stood firm in defending the castle against 200 SS soldiers. Despite being on opposing sides just days before, they fought shoulder to shoulder to achieve a common goal the liberation of Castle Itter and the lives it held. The battle raged on for hours, with the defenders bravely resisting wave after wave of German attackers. The prisoners, though not combatants, assisted as they could, knowing that their lives and freedom hung in the balance. Just when it seemed like the defenders might be overwhelmed, Help arrived in the form of reinforcements from the 23rd Tank Battalion of the U.S. 12th Armored Division. The timely arrival of tanks and armored vehicles shifted the tide of battle in favor of the joint American and German forces. Against all odds, the joint forces emerged victorious. The prisoners were liberated, and the Battle of Castle Itter marked the only instance in World War II where American and German troops fought together. Sadly, Major Gengel lost his life during the battle. The rescued French VIPs returned to their homeland and continued to contribute to the rebuilding of post-war Europe. Despite its historical significance, the Battle of Castle Itter remained relatively obscure for many years. However, in recent times, efforts have been made to bring this extraordinary story to the forefront of historical consciousness. Medals and honors were posthumously awarded to the brave soldiers and officers who took part in the mission. Additionally, Castle Itter has been preserved as a museum and memorial site to honor those who fought and to educate future generations about this exceptional event. Thank you for watching and if you found this story interesting and thought-provoking, 
hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more World War II content. Have a great day.